More anniversary bundles and events are here, including a rerun of the Lucky Dice. So stick around in this video for everything you need to know about all the events and bundles that just landed. Hello my friends and welcome back, I'm Chisco Gaming, and in this video we're going to review all of the new stuff that just hit the game for the anniversary events. This is the third year anniversary, and of course there's a brand new bundle. Now I'm going to start out by evaluating the contents of this bundle, and very importantly, there's a recharge rewards event here. The rewards for this are about the same that we're used to seeing. There's a grand total of 30 legendary commander sculptures you can get if you go and you do some small amount of spending, obtaining 2,500 raw gems across five different days. Now, I've covered this in a bunch of videos, but the key thing you need to know here is that you do need to get the 2,500 gems purchased within a 24-hour window, within one reset window, to actually claim the chest. Otherwise, it's reset at the end of the day. And, of course, one of the favorite recommendations I've got for you if you are spending is to refresh your 30-day gem supply or your material supply, which, man, mine's getting pretty close to running out. So that's what I'm going to be doing, except I'm also going to pick up this set sale bundle. Now, the set sale bundle is valuable in part because there are all universal speed ups, and who doesn't need lots of those for training troops or whatever you want to do with them? Maybe it's healing troops. Uh, but also the resource chests are pick one, which is very important. Uh, gold is the key resource in the end game. And the main driver for this bundle is actually right here. It's the galley models and also the anchors. These are premium currency, and I'll show you later in the video what you exchange them for, but that is actually very valuable. So let's pick these up now. I'm going to turn on my spend blocker, pick up the $5 tier of this bundle, and then we'll unlock the $10, uh, the $20, the $50, and we'll go all the way up to 100 bucks, and then I'm going to pause. So I'll be able to show you all the different bundles here so you know what's in them. In the next tier, there is 40 galley models and then 40 anchors, as well as some cosmetics, which like, eh, I don't know, man. I'll stick to the uh, all-out rumble personally. Thank you very much. Here we go with the $10 bundle. We're going to pick this thing up, and then we'll be able to show you the $20 bundle and what it contains. Here we go. Purchase is all set. The speed-ups are in. No more cosmetics, 50 galley models, and 50 anchors. By the way, you can see I've unlocked my recharge reward because I picked up 2,500 raw gems in that 24-hour window. Normally, uh, if you're spending less than I am in this game, you're going to space out your spending over the course of these five days in order to uh, continue to get your progress on recharge rewards. But I just want to be able to show you this bundle, so here we go. The $20 tier of the bundle... Let's go make the purchase now, and then we'll see what's behind it. Behind door number three is the $50 bundle, 120 of the galley models and 120 anchors. Now, I'm going to buy this. I don't know that I necessarily will need it, and we'll talk about these anchors uh, in just a moment, the premium and the easy-ish to obtain currency, uh, because... The rewards that you get for those are what's most compelling about this bundle. So here we go. We snap this off. Bada boom. $50 bundles in the bank. Or, well, my money's out of the bank and it's, it's in Lilith's bank. <laughs> uh, 200 of the galley models and then 200 anchors in the $100 tier. And, of course, speed ups, resources, the same things that we would typically expect in this sort of a bundle. So what makes this bundle good anyways? The thing that makes this bundle compelling is right over here, baby. It's the anniversary shop. There's a number of things you can get that are going to use the galley model, which is the premium currency, and then the anchors, which is the currency that you can get a bunch of, and I'll talk about how you go and do that. The city skin that you can get here does look kind of cool. It's the All Kingdom Carnival city skin. 5% infantry health at the cost of archer health. This is a great skin if you don't have one already for infantry health. I dislike that you're losing archer health instead of some other less premium stat like attack, but it is what it is. If you needed infantry health for rally or garrison and you didn't have it, or you use an all infantry murder ball, you could go and you could get this skin, and I think that would be a solid pickup, the all Kingdom Carnival city theme. Now, there is a seven-day version of the theme, and I don't love the temporary versions of these themes. You could get it if you wanted. Uh, the cosmetic, however, I would definitely obtain because now they've been releasing 
achievements and achievement points for getting these things. I used to avoid getting it because who cares? Uh, but now I'm getting them all. So achievement points, baby. Woo. So yes, to the stars, the cosmetic is worth picking up. Now, now on the topic of picking up, here's where the value of the bundle really picks up. 20 of the galley models gets you a legendary commander sculpture along with a few of the anchors. Also, 80 of the galley models can get you a blueprint choice chest. Hello, baby. If you still need Silent Trial or Delanes or Peter Sickle or you want to talent one of the ones that you have, yep, this is a very, very, very good pickup uh, because uh, the accessories are a major power booster. And if you're wondering which accessory to do, Silent Trial or Delanes, I'll have a card up in the top and you can go check out a video all about that. Now, the other thing that's really compelling here is the equipment material choice chest. 10 galley models gets you one equipment material choice chest at the epic tier. There are also gold keys for anchors and some speed ups that require galley models and anchors. And the thing you got to keep in mind is that you can purchase these, uh, of the galley models for 50 gems a pop. So if we make a just quick look back over here in the anniversary shop, if you wanted to instead spend gems to be getting these things, right, you're looking at a thousand gems for a legendary commander sculpture, which is not a bad price in the grand scheme of things, although I still think you're better off as a free-to-play or low spender just doing like a Wheel of Fortune. I think you'll get more value there than you would here. But in a pinch, if you needed a few to get just a little bit closer to completing something, then it's worthwhile. And I will call attention to the fact that Buying these with gems is actually cheaper than getting them from the VIP shop. It's 600 gems for the epic equipment crate in the VIP shop and 500 gems worth of stuff over here if you were to have to use gems on the galley models. Now, again, I still think that your priority needs to be doing events like the egg event, which is here right now for me, then stuff like this where, it, you know, if you were doing the VIP shop, you might consider doing this instead. So the rewards here are solid, and I probably don't need to do much more of the bundle because there are other ways to get galley models besides the bundle. Let's talk about some of the ways you can get these galley models. If we go and we look at some of the events here, uh, here you can see that you can get the mementos when you're doing map collection, city collection, and defeating barbarians. So use your production boosts. You always should be using your production boosts. Uh, gather a bunch from the map, defeat barbs, and you get these mementos. If I go and I show you that now, boom, 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 just crack those in my city, and here are mementos. If I make my way over in my inventory uh, to those mementos, which are in the other section, presumably. Yeah, wow, I had to scroll like way down to get those. I turn these mementos in over here in this event. If I scroll back up, I turn in the mementos and I convert them into anchors. So that's one way you can get a bunch of anchors, okay? But you want to get the more rare currency. And that you can obtain by completing the puzzle. Now the puzzle, you're going to need to smash the help button, rally barb forts, and do courier station purchases. And when you complete the different tiers of the sharp eyes, quick hand, which there's a new puzzle released every day, you can pick up a bunch of anchors and also a bunch of the galley models for free. And that galley models, that's that premium currency that you're really looking for. So you can get 45 plus, wow. So you can get a cool 60 galley models just from here. So that um, accessory we were showing earlier, the epic pattern, is going to be obtainable, I think, by everybody. Because there's more events, by the way, to obtain those. And that's coming really, really soon in the form of possibly Zenith of Power, but definitely arms training Lohar. That'll give you an opportunity to get a few more of these galley models, and maybe there'll be a few other things along the way as well. There is, of course, also the Anniversary Festival event. This has a few galley models cooking up here just for logging in every day. And you know, it is sort of funny, like, who is the player that just logs in every day and does nothing else? I don't know. Not me, but new quests unveil every single day. If you're new to the game, uh, you may not have known that... This chest scales in a linear way. You don't have to complete every single freaking quest in here. It's not that big a deal. Yes, you'll want to get as much free value as you can. No, don't, you know, break your back trying to do it. You just get done what you get done. 
and the rest is just a small amount of speed ups in incremental value anyways, which, I mean, I like free value, right? I'll hunt that all day. Uh, but the thing that uh, you're probably wondering about is the lucky dice. Now, this event, I think, used to be more rewarding. It's in a w interesting reward set right now, I guess I should say. It's in kind of a weird place. Here are the different rewards that are available in each prize pool. Now, there is one prize from each pool that's selected to be displayed here. So you can see that at the level one prize, I got these Books of the Covenant, which I don't need as a prize at all. That was the prize out of this pool that was selected. And at the very top end of things, this is where you'd have to spend the most gems to get to. And there's city themes. Now, city themes are cool, except I'm just a little confused as to why they chose these city themes. Because yes, they look cool, but as a spender, do I want infantry attack at the cost of archer defense? No, I'm not interested in that. Do I want archer attack at the cost of infantry attack? Not particularly, although I guess an archer player might be interested in that. Uh, do you want to spend a bunch of gems to get it, though? I don't know about that. 5% cavalry health at the cost of 5% archer health. That is a good one. And if you didn't have a cavalry health skin, you could totally go for this if you're going to rally your garrison with cavalry. Uh, that seems like a good pickup. Archer defense at the cost of cav attack. I mean, I guess if you didn't have a better archer city theme... Uh, the next one is Cav Health again at the cost of Infantry Health. So we have two Cavalry Health options up in here. An Archer Defense option, a Cav Attack option, an Archer Attack option, and an Infantry Attack option. I mean, look, I think the only city theme that will be worth going for is one of these Cav Health skins if you don't already have one and you want it for Rally or Garrison. Otherwise, I wouldn't go that far. So the question then becomes, how many gems would you have to actually spend to get some Crystal Keys? Because for everybody else... I think Crystal Keys is the recommendation. I'm a little confused why epic level stars would ever be thrown in here, except to just have a less premium reward in that tier of the prize pool. Now, you may be wondering, whoa, 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 Chiskel. So, okay. So, yeah, I get that you'll probably be hunting Chiskel for the speed ups in here, but um, how do you even play this event anyways? Okay, fair question. The way this works is you roll the dice, and you have to spend more gems which is kind of a bummer if you need to roll the dice more than once. Uh, and once you actually land a dice roll, you roll the two dice, if the number is between these the green numbers here, so four and eight was what it would be for me, then you can either claim the prize at the tier that you're at or the odds get reset over here and you work for now the level two prize tier. So uh, let me show you exactly how this works, okay? Uh, I'm going to smash the free button here. And what do I get? I'm out of the range. So I can spend 650 gems. Oh my God. To roll again, or I can just give up. I don't want to roll this again. I don't, I don't, dude, I don't want these eight hour speed ups. I, I don't want a production boost. Oh man. So there's a couple things that I could have done here. One would have been to refresh the prize pool at the start, another option is to give up. 650 gems. I mean, if I made it all the way up, okay? I mean, for 600 gems, I can buy a day of speed ups. There's no way that this is worth it to me. I am just going to give up. Man, I, I don't know. This event, I think I might be advising that most people do in just like a free-to-play way. Because here's my prize pool again, and I got speed ups all the way up here, which means I need to get really lucky to even get that far. And you can see I could do a free refresh over here, which I'm, my hand was hovering over the button. I don't know if I want to do it because there are speed ups in here at all. So let me just try this again. I smash the button, free, and I failed again. Would I spend 650 gems? No, I really wouldn't. You really have to be city theme desperate for this to be a thing that's worth pushing on. Here is a set of rewards where I need literally nothing. And in this case, I can push that free refresh button up top, and it's giving me a different prize tier. And unfortunately, there's really almost nothing I need here as well. Man, this is really weird, but good news for me, I'm not going to have to spend gems on this event. Finally, I land in the range. So I can either claim my 20 arrows of resistance, which I definitely don't need, or I can push continue. I'm going to push continue. I have given up 
or in this case, gave up <laughs> the uh, reward at tier one. And I have a shot for the reward at tier two. But the range is now smaller, man. So my odds have shrunk pretty dramatically here. And I'm already out of range. There's no way I'm spending these gems on resources. And for the most part, I think this is an event I'm just going to jam in a fully free-to-play way, which is sort of a bummer. I'll probably do a little bit of this on stream because I think people would want to watch that. But, uh, man, if they had put some other rewards in here, I think this could have been really exciting. Or if the gem cost was lower, I think this could have been really exciting. But for me, this event is definitely a hard pass. Now, the Bankrupt the Boutique event is back. And this is an event that's pretty straightforward. Every time you spend on something in here, it's going to discount something else in the same row. So if I pick this up for resources, and I'm not spending gems on resources and the other things in here, you can see it discounted this spot over here. Um, and I'm not going to buy that, so it kind of doesn't matter all that much. But one technique that you can do to try to up the discount on something, for example, would I get speed ups at 80% off for healing speeds? Okay, sure. So I'm going to buy this 16 gem thing to try to get the discount to land where I really wanted it to land. It didn't go where I wanted. Am I spending 361 gems for 10 hours? No, I don't think so. I generally am not all that hyped about gems in here. I guess one sneaky thing I could do is try to pick this up to get a discount in gems ever so slightly on this, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to pick that up and hit refresh. And so you can see here, in this case, by the way, the discount doesn't go any lower than 90%. I'm going to do the lower resource item first. It's going to automatically go to the uh, higher, I guess, resource item because these other two are already discounted 90%. So I'll claim that. I get a look over here. I'm going to claim this thing for resources. It's going to make the speed up cost go down, but six hours for 288 gems is still not great value. And I guess I'll claim this over here. You know, honestly, this doesn't change the way I play the Mysterious Merchant really much at all. If you're hunting for a 50% army expansion, that could be the one thing in here that would be super cool to get even more discounted. That would be really, really legit if you could get a very discounted 50% army expansion for those of you that are spending gems to get 50% army expansions. I'll definitely be covering all of these anniversary events as they roll around, including Arms Training Lohar. So if you want to see what that looks like and how it works, subscribe to the channel, throw a like on this video if you found it at all helpful. And I'm definitely eager for your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think of this Lucky Dice event? And for those of you that want to see the old version and the rewards that were there, and a video that details just a whole bunch more information about playing the odds, all the card up in the top just to show you exactly how mm, bad these odds could be. Oh, man. Throw a like, consider subscribing, and until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.